was born in Newark, New Jersey at Beth Israel Hospital in 1995. Went to Hawthorne Avenue Elementary School. I won my first basketball championship there my first year playing. Uh, that's the only championship that the school have. You know, I transferred from there and went on to 13th Avenue, the pride of North, where I met Coach Will. Like, Coach Will taught me how to become a man. You know, uh, it was bigger than basketball to him. It was more than just the sport. It was a culture. It was a way of life, you know. Uh, it's a lot of principles and morals he helped me learn about that I carry today. Right here, this is West Side Park. That's our baseball field right there. This is where our whole high school practice at, but everything except for basketball. The freshman basketball team practice up top, but other than that, we practice at the school for basketball. That's our baseball field. This right here, if you walk straight down to the left, it's our football field. If you go straight up, that's the recreational center, like the jungle gym and stuff like that, the basketball park, you know what I'm saying? Um, it's a lot of good memories here, man. My high school journey was a, a breeze. I wish I could live it again. You know, uh, I lost a lot of friends in high school, man. Maybe a lot, about a good four teammates per year, honestly. You know, Newark is a real tough place to grow up. It's a lot of hate, not a lot of love. Where I'm from, they closed the only boys and girls club that was in the district. <laughs> It's the last day of summer camp at the West Side Boys and Girls Club in Newark. The girls are rehearsing their moves for their final performance on the stage. That was real big, you know, that hurt a lot of, a lot of the children around the area. Uh, it gave us nothing to do. It only gave us the option to go into the street. I had a lot of tough journeys in my life. Uh, I went down to visit a friend before, you know, uh, I was targeted. I'm 22 years old. I drive a nice Lexus, uh, had jewelry around my neck, nice jacket. We just left from a graduation party and somebody in the city wasn't feeling my vibe, you know. Pulled the gun out, snatched my chains off my neck. The incident got bad. We left the incident alone and we pulled off. When we pulled off, we didn't even know he was being followed. Shots fired at the car. Anything could happen to anybody at any time. You know, I never said I was the, the biggest or the baddest person in the world. Uh, by all means, I'm gonna protect myself, but Sometimes you got to take losses, and I don't think that I took a loss in that sense because I'm still living. I made it back home to my family. I made it back home to my brother, uh, to my mother. You know, my mother always did the best she could do for me to get whatever I needed to get. Uh, same as for my brother, you know, my aunt, my grandmother, my whole family in general. You know, I had a decent support system, but at the same time, you know, being in the wrong place at the wrong time can always harm you, no matter what kind of support system that you have. On my block, it was cool. It was, uh, it was fun for the most part, you know. Uh, my whole family more so lived around me, so we always had a good time. We threw a lot of cookouts, parties, and I was real family oriented. I had a few friends that was always welcome to come over. When I go back, I feel a love, I feel a vibes, I feel an energy, I feel people proud to see that I wasn't afraid to do something different. Hi, my name is Yvette Jordan. I'm a teacher of social studies in Newark, and I had Ronell as a student when I taught at Westside High School. He wasn't afraid to really challenge me in my classroom, and I appreciated that. One thing um, I remember in my class is that my car was stolen. Ronell and another student approached me and said, okay, we're going to find out how it happened, who, who, actually, who actually did it, and I'll see you like 7.30 in the morning. 7.30 on the following morning, he came and found me and said, okay, we know who did it, and you will have your car back. Ronell, um, he said to me, and... 
this is something I'll never forget. You have an opportunity to really impact who stole your car. And I said, what do you mean? And he said, you can either change their life forever or you can accept your car back and that's it. And I said, what are you talking about? He said, well, if he is arrested, his, his life will never be the same. I think it's important understanding Ronell in um, how he can impact other people, his, his ability to say, okay, some, something is wrong and I'll help you. However, you've got to understand how your actions also impact other people. Growing up, I always wanted to become a football player, basketball player and those dreams didn't necessarily work out. So I had to find something else that I loved doing. You know, uh, I had to adapt. I had to make my mind up. Did I want to be in the streets? Or did I want to give myself an opportunity to do something that's more positive and productive? Music was like my sanctuary, you know? I could put my problems down and express how I feel and, and be myself, be natural, say what I want without someone trying to discourage what I'm trying to, trying to discourage my art. You know, a lot of people don't know I make music and because it was more so for me for the most part. As I got older, a lot of my friends and cousins was making music and videos and things like that. So I would find myself jumping into like some freestyle sites to where they want to hear if I really got it and stuff like that, but I wouldn't say that I'm your, your average music artist. I don't really talk about guns, drugs, and stuff like that. I can, but you know, I try to paint a different picture. I try to be more genuine and true to myself and to what I feel. It's a lot of problems that I see in the community. You know, I wanna be a part of the solution. I'm not one of them people that's gonna try to get my degree and forget about everybody that was around that helped me achieve this degree. You know, I wanna give back to my community more and more. I wanna help people help me give back to the community. You know, I just wanna be that person that could be there for as many people and help as many people as I can until it's my time to go. Say hey. Hey. It's like the little sister I never had right here. <laughs>